we were at uh, Hunts Tooth Pub on uh, 37th and 8th Avenue. We got the Angus Burger. So some places you'll have like a different burgers on the menu, three, four burgers. Some of them just say Angus Burger and then add on when you want. So we got some bacon. I threw on bacon. I threw on mozzarella cheese. And I figured I'd go with a little jalapenos on the side. I thought they would be on the burger. They were not. They were on the side. I think that's okay. I'll bite from this side. Throw that on there. This tomato, that's really just not going to do anything. This lettuce isn't going to do anything. White onions in the move. I love white onions. This is gross. I hate that. That's the worst part about onions. Ew. But definitely, I think I am a white onion guy officially over red onions. White onions just look better. They taste better. This is a thick ass burger. This is big. It doesn't need to be this big. This bun is huge. I nailed it from the eye test. The bun is too much. It's too flaky. There's just too much bread. It's just more. It's more bun than burger. This is just a bun with a little bit of burger. The saving grace was the bacon. Of course, the bacon tasted fantastic, but there's just too much. Like I just felt like I ate a loaf of bread. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go with the with the 3.1 on the burger. From what I got of it, it was tasty, but just too much fun. And now we got a uh, beer, Snake Dog. Quite the uh, logo on Snake Dog. We have a odd looking dog, kind of looks like a chupacabra, and then he's got a little snake with horns popping up on his back. So, yeah, creepy. Not the weirdest thing. I mean, actually, it is the weirdest thing. It looks like I could find it in like Fantastic Beast Snake Dog IPA. Let's roll. I like that. It's very orange, very citrus. It's got the citrus working. Oh, I've been having a problem with this drinking out of bottles. I'm so bad at it. It always just pours over. Look at this. This is just so embarrassing. And then the real drinkers, the, not the real drinkers, but the guys that are a little crazy. They'll put their mouth on it and just take off the foam. I can't take the foam. It's a big process. But the beer tastes good. I'm going to go with a four point, four flat on the Snake Dog. Now, finally, to the fries. Very excited about these. Nice steak fries, actually. Very nice of a change of pace. And this, this fatter bottle of the ketchup, it's still Heinz, still glass bottle, just 100 times better than the skinny one. Ketchup flies right out. Steak fry is nice, wide. Got some money steak fries. Steak fries are great. I think steak fries, maybe my favorite two pair of the burger. I'm gonna go 4.3 on the steak fries. Got some money. And finally, the ambiance. I didn't really know what I was walking into. Houndstooth thought it might have been like an Alabama bar. I know when I was in Alabama a couple months ago, one of their biggest bars there was the Houndstooth Pub. Very like old schoolish. Everything is wooden, pretty much. Nice American flag, some wine over there. U-shaped bar, pretty much. Really not the biggest place. I'm gonna go um with a 3.3 on the ambiance. It's just really just it's just a bar. Nothing popping out of me. So 3.3. I'm sure it's a fun place to drink. I actually don't see many TVs either. Yeah. 3.3. Nothing crazy. That was Houndstooth Pub, a 37th and 8th Avenue.